of the web. This is Falker Truman, your host, back with another video. Today we're going to touch on a little story that you might find interesting regarding the inner workings of your mind and your desires and what push you through to get whatever it is that you want to get. About seven or eight years ago, no correction, excuse me, we're talking about 2006, 2008, around that, those two years. I used to travel a lot to resell uh, pharmaceutical uh, products. I used to be a manager in one of pharmaceutical company long ago. So, And uh, while I was working there, I used to travel a lot to different places in South America, uh, selling our products and going around with our other managers and spending time in different places. Some places were really nice. In one of those places, we were at a beach. We went to a, a resort type place in one of the countries in South America, and we were just having fun. And we went to the public beach and to eat something, you know, some shrimp cocktails and some beer. And all of a sudden, I'm there with my other manager friend, my superior. We're just sitting there eating and we see a, a person just playing guitar next to a coconut, um, a bag of coconuts. He, ha he had a bag, a nylon bag filled with coconuts to sell. I don't remember correctly, it would be about 50 cents coconut, um, something like that. So he was selling the coconut or coconut water and that's it, coconut water. At a coconut and he was playing guitar on a hammock. He was just resting while waiting for people to pass through the beach. And it was nearby the establishment where we were going to eat. So my superior dragged me alone and had me sit down with that person for a second. And my superior went on and started talking to this person. He said, hey, how old are you? And the person answered, I'm 24. Mind you, this uh, young man back then was wearing a, a straw hat. He was playing a guitar, hanging around with his shirt wide open and small shorts and a couple of sandals. I said, he, and he, for some reason, my superior got near to him and he said, wouldn't you like to have a wonderful life for your family and friends? And he said, yeah, I would, he said. Well, you could use this small uh, little business that you have. Uh, how do you do? How, how, how much do you, do you sell? Do you get by? Well, I sell not so much, but uh, I think I make about $40 a day. Sometimes, some days I make $40 a day, sometimes. Or it's just 20, and or it's just 10. It just depends. So you don't have a fixed income, you know, a continuous stream of money that comes for you. So you're a little tight on money. My superior asked him, and the guy answered, yeah, something like that. And I was uh, just quietly watching. He said like, well, you could use that and create a, a rolling stand or use a bike and refurbish it and re reshape it to carry your coconuts and go selling it throughout the beach. You probably, if you start just going with your small bike all around the place selling, you'll probably sell more than just by sitting here. And the person say, yeah, that sounds about right. As well, after that, if you wanted to, you could select one of the places in this beach. And there I noticed that there are a couple of more uh, beaches around this place in a few kilometers away. So you can triplicate your little job uh, or your little enterprise here and sell it in those three places and the person said yeah but I will need two more persons two more people to do this and said, yeah you would but if you have more people you will make more money you know that will be able to for you in the future to provide for your wife and child and uh, you'll make a better living and you have more stuff, and you buy a nice house, and then you can probably take part of that money and put it into a, um, a retirement fund, 
and secure the future of your uh, your sons and you can rest or you can start another company with coconuts coconuts are very profitable in south america especially in beaches and resort type places like this one you could do very well and the guy answers yeah that could happen my superior asked him well would you like me to help you i like helping people to grow and be better so if you would like you to, would you like me to help you just tell me this person uh, he was while he was listening to all this he was just strumming his uh, strumming his guitar you know playing some no no very strange tune according to me because i didn't recognize it or maybe he was just um, making sounds while listening so he just stopped playing put the guitar on the floor and he asked him, And after I do all that, can I come back and sit here and do what I'm doing now? My superior answer, well, yeah, sure you can. And in, this young man looked at my superior and said like, so let me get this straight. If I don't decide to have a family, I choose not to have family. I choose not to have descendants or a wife or a woman. Even though um it might not seem much, I could still be doing in the end I'm going to end up doing, he asked. I'm going to end up doing what I'm doing now when it's all over. So what happens if I decide not to have a child and not to have a wife? And none of those things you talk about. Because you know, I kind of like it just the way I am right now. My superior was stunned. He just looked at me and we just started and slowly said goodbye to the person, to this young man. I looked at him and he looked at me. He smiled at me and started singing one of his little South American songs. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> and we walked back to the <laughs> to the coffee um, to a little restaurant that was there at the beach and we were ready to order and my my superior said to me i can't believe these guys why don't they want to progress and be better that day still resonates with me today i'm pretty sure that that kid that kid that man at something I still remember the look in his eyes that man was happy that man was living a happy life money is very important but uh, you get what i'm saying right and if to those who, and if to those who don't know what they truly want make sure you know what you want because the grind to make money is it's hard sometimes it's worth it if you want it This is Truman signing off.